gentlemen at the Oriental Theater, please give it up for Kenny! Five years ago, I was living in Iowa. I'd really struggled to make friends. But despite that, I decided to host a Christmas party. One sole couple showed up to my party. I was grateful they were there. My cat did not exactly feel the same way. She launched an aerial attack on my only two partygoers. <laughs> so needless to say, soon after that, they had a previous engagement. <laughs> it, was, it was really one of the worst days of my life. Don't laugh. <laughs> No, really, you can laugh. Um, but looking back on it, it got me wondering, what if being miserable is the best thing that ever happened to you? How often do we just eke along in life and just let things get a little worse and a little worse and a little worse and a little worse until finally we hit that moment where things have to change? <laughs> you reach where there's no other choice but to choose something new. So what I want to talk about today is how we can do that for you. How can you turn your crappy into your happy? <laughs> so today I'm going to give you three secrets, they're secret, just FYI, that I've used in my life that have really helped me to turn things around and feel a lot better. So secret number one, it is okay to be wherever you are. Have you ever said to yourself, I should be further than I am. My life is so hard. Nobody likes me. Oh, right? <laughs> I'm here to tell you it's okay. And it doesn't matter if you feel on top of the world or if you don't know how you're going to get out of bed in the morning. It's okay to be where you are because where you are is a great starting point to go somewhere new. Which brings me to number two. A new direction can be fun. It's exciting to say, wow, I'm going to go here. Look, it's so awesome. It's like the reason we climb 14 or mountains is not because we love to have tired legs and altitude headaches and walk funny for the next three days, right? The reason we do it is because it's exciting to say, wow, I'm going to go to this new place I've never been. Some people tell me, Katie, I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't want to make that choice. Well, I'm here to tell you that physiologically in your body, your body can't tell if you're scared or excited. It releases the exact same chemicals. <laughs> so next time you're scared, you might want to ask yourself, am I really scared or am I excited? Which brings me to secret number three. Different things make you happy at different times. Sometimes you want to go run and move and play, and sometimes you just want to hang out with your friends. Sometimes you just want to sit on the couch and drink a beer. This is me after Mardi Gras. I sat on the couch for two full days. <laughs> and it's okay, because that's what made me happy in that moment. So I want to tell you a story of how I've utilized this. I had a horrible boss a few years ago. He was awful. Everything I did, he said I should be more like my coworker. <laughs> and it was so awful that I actually decided to take a sabbatical from my job. All I wanted to do, I took three months off, I just wanted to hang out, sit under a tree, do nothing. But I know me, and I knew I needed a little bit of rules beyond that. So I created Katie's three sabbatical rules for happiness. Number one, leave the house every day. When I stay in too long, I forget that I have friends. It's really depressing. <laughs> Number two, don't watch TV. When I watch TV, that means I'm in the house forgetting that I have friends. And number three, only do things that sound fun. Even laundry sounds fun when you're out of clean underwear. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Personal experience on that one. So after a couple weeks of literally doing nothing, I discovered that I was bored. So what I did is I started a project. So I actually wrote and published this book in about two and a half months, and it was super exciting and fun. So I went from being stressed out to relaxed to bored to excited. So the whole point of this is that life is kind of like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, and it's okay to be wherever you are on that path. Don't beat yourself for, up for where you are. That's part of your magical journey. This year, I actually did have a new Christmas, another Christmas party. There was no cat. People stayed longer than 10 minutes, and we decorated Christmas cookies. We even took some pictures. Yes, I have friends again. It was pretty exciting. 
Uh, my name is Katie Schmatz. I am so grateful to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs>